Idaho's Attorney General says two big online fantasy sports betting sites have each entered into an agreement to cease operations in the state. Scott Logan tells us about the two online sites that Idahoans will no longer be able to use. He's live at the State House. Well, the AG's office has been reviewing these two multi-million dollar sites since January, and now the AG's office says this, the Idaho Constitution, makes it clear that paying to play for something when there's risk involved is gambling. The Idaho Attorney General's office says the online paid daily sports contests offered through DraftKings and FanDuel are illegal gambling in Idaho because you have to pay to play to win a prize based on chance. If it quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a duck. This is gambling in Idaho, right? The way we read the statute in the Constitution, in, in Idaho it's, it's somewhat unique. We have a very strict constitutional provision that says gambling is strictly prohibited. It does make a few exceptions. Following negotiations with the state, DraftKings and FanDuel have agreed not to allow anybody from Idaho to participate in their fantasy sports contests, and they'll monitor players based on geo-blocking technology and IP addresses. Idaho joins at least 12 other states that are now so-called restricted locations. People we talked to agreed it is gambling. Have you ever played this? I have, and I currently have an account with them. <laughs> well, you're able to get your money back, they say. Oh, that's good, at least. I mean, I'm happy about that. Are you uh, disappointed with this agreement? No, because I'm absolutely terrible at the whole game things. And you really get into it, and you don't want to lose, and so you keep you know, changing your team, or I don't know exactly You sound like a veteran player. Am I right or wrong? No, we just have a good friend that is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of the biggest exemptions to the uh, Idaho gambling law is, of course, the state lottery. Live at the State House, Scott Logan, KBY2 News.